Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Slight. Uh, today we're actually going to be putting on the forward controls, the Red Dragon forward controls. Okay, so the actual kit comes with pretty much everything, so um, that's the brake. Basically this is all going to be on the left side, a couple of the fasteners as well, and then of course that is the brake side. And then you're going to need a couple tools here, a couple wrenches. Uh, ranging from sizes 10 to uh, 14 mils, needle nose, and we'll all get there afterwards. Okay, so pretty much the first thing you want to do is you're going to take the shift lever off. Um, you're going to crack this loose at the bottom, and then that whole thing's going to come with. So 10 mil, uh, 10 mil up top. And we're just going to turn this off. This is going to be an H8. Okay, so you're going to take this piece off. And that's going to be an H6. Okay. So the shifter goes up top. Okay, and then we're gonna tighten it. Now they do have these little washer, they're like special washers. I'll show you it. It's like a bearing inside and then each washer has like a car Color. so when they're tight it can still move quite easily and you should always put uh, some blue Loctite on So the way it works is you need one of these little um, washers, but you see how there's like a little kind of race there so that comes in there. And then you have these little bearings it goes on another one of those races comes down. So then that can spin another one of these, another one of your bearings. Again, another one of the race down. So basically when you're shifting, it moves, right? And that is all smooth. It's all tight. We're going to put this back on. Okay. That's just going to go back in. Uh, fairly straightforward there um, and it's actually very sturdy I've seen some kits that are actually very like they, they kind of move a lot this is actually a pretty solid kit and I know they do have um, a brace that comes here to here on like a, a different kit they have uh, there's two different kits for this unit so I'll put their links and stuff like that in the in the description this is not a sponsored video um, I'm just throwing it together showing you guys how to do it um, again make sure everything's tight uh, make sure everything's uh, locked tight let's continue on to the other side 
Okay, so this side is gonna be relatively simple as well. The only problem is you do have to get rid of the brake. So you're gonna take these out. This is gonna come down and you're gonna actually take the master back here. It's gonna be easier to if I just show you. Okay, so you're gonna end up taking the cotter pin out of here. Now the kit doesn't actually come with a cotter pin, a new cotter pin. Uh, I would recommend putting a new cotter pin in, but for now we're gonna just put it in the way they'd like to put it in. You're just gonna tap that out. And then you're gonna get these two bolts here. And that one is actually going to be a five, a five mil Allen or H5. And that's that little pin. Now there's a clip back here too that needs to come out. I'm not gonna be able to see that on camera, but uh, so yeah, this is just there. That's your rear brake. So you're gonna tighten that. Okay, so last couple things. So we're just gonna put that in. We're gonna wanna put that cotter pin back in. Okay. You gotta tighten this part up here, down at the end here. You also have to tighten there. So that's pretty much the red uh, dragon forward controls. It does actually move it forward. It's not too crazy though. They do actually stick out a little bit further, but uh, so th that's gonna probably affect some lean angle. I would probably get the the kit that actually does the brace that goes up top as well. That is an option. It is a little bit more expensive, but it'd be a little bit more sturdy. But yeah, it's uh, pretty solid. Anyways, if you do like this channel, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And until next time, guys.